we are down here on Maryland's eastern shore, and as luck would have it, we found this northern diamondback terrapin. This little critter here spends most of its life in brackish habitats, where with its big power for jaws, will eat mollusks, fish, and crabs. This cool reptile is actually the state reptile of Maryland. It is also the mascot of the University of Maryland. These are such amazing turtles, and I feel that it is just an amazing experience to actually see one out in the wild. Another interesting fact about the diamondback terrapin is that they do prefer to lay their eggs in sandy soil. So a lot of nesting habitat for these turtles has actually been lost, but there are a lot of programs to help repopulate the diamondback terrapin here in the state of Maryland. One of those plans was the rebuilding of Poplar Island, where a lot of these turtles have found sanctuary away from mammalian predators where they can go to lay their eggs in peace. These fascinating creatures have really webbed feet. You can see she's kicking her foot out here. That is a massive foot. They use that for paddling around in the water. They don't bask a lot like other turtles, and they do spend a lot of time in the water hunting their primary prey. Don't bite. 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 He must be on the branch, so we're good. We're still out here herping Maryland, and Chris here has got this black rat snake that we just found. He seems to have taken a liking to my face. He likes you. But, uh, you know, we've definitely found a couple more interesting finds for our Herping Maryland series, including the state reptile. Yeah, and didn't you guys just head out to Western Maryland and find one of the more rare uh, species of herptile in Maryland? We did. We were very fortunate to find a very rare amphibian for the state of Maryland. Now here in Maryland, the green salamander is an endangered species, which we actually have here. Now in Maryland, they only live in the far western portion due to a lot of habitat loss. And Western Maryland has a lot of, a lot of rocky facings, a lot of mountain, that, which they prefer. But they prefer mountain facings that have the moss like we have here and the lichen because mainly their camouflage it actually makes them look they just blend right in with the rock now we've had a lot of rain come through this past week so we decided to try our luck and boy am i glad we did because i've been looking for one of these guys for almost four years now now these guys here they live deep in the crevices of these rocks and they only come out during very heavy rains and at night they eat mainly the crickets and the insects that live along the rock facings all oh, right, there's a green salamander in this crevice. These salamanders are really cool. They're actually very arboreal. You can see this guy's a couple feet up off the ground in this little crevice here. They're the only member of their genus to actually occur on the eastern part of the United States. Well, there are several other members of this particular genus of salamander that occur on the west coast. They're a really interesting salamander. They're so arboreal, they have really long legs and they're very adept at climbing. They prefer this sandstone habitat. It holds a lot of moisture, so they tend to get in these little crevices where they can stay cool when it gets too hot during the summer months. But really an awesome find. We're going to keep searching these cliff faces and see if we can find some more. Now one thing that's really cool about these guys is they have square toe pads, unlike the circular toe pads that a lot of other salamanders have. And this can help them climb very high up the rock facings and they can actually hang upside down very moist conditions and it's just they're they're amazing to me I, I absolutely love them and this is the first one I've seen so I'm really excited about this and I, I'm just I'm so glad we came out so we've definitely spent a lot of time outside this summer looking for a lot of the rarer herbs found in the state of Maryland we'll definitely be hitting the field more trying to find some other species that we were hoping to find this year in the meantime stay tuned for more great outdoor content from camachairproductions.com <laughs>